question. Well, the first question is the one that you're obviously going to expect anyway. Gareth Bale, how better can he get? Yeah, it was a good, uh, great individual uh, performance. Uh, I think uh, you know we, we, it's uh, um, it's outstanding to see a player enjoying his football. I think Gareth uh, is is enjoying his football, whatever the position that he plays. Um, he's uh, you know he's obviously great teams are made of um, of, of uh, great individuals too. And uh, and Gareth, you know, in, with the opportunities that he has, he can be uh, decisive. So um, happy for him, happy to to see him enjoying his football and and being uh, decisive for the team. It's a it's a win that we want to dedicate to uh, to Tony Parks and and Joe, his son, going through um, a difficult moment as uh, as Joe is trying to hang on to his life. And uh, you know, it's a win that we want to to dedicate to to him and to his family. He's doing extremely well. Uh, you know, obviously we, we are speaking about the, the world's best. Uh, you know, this is a player that we rate extremely uh, highly, and he's, he's doing the difference in 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 the league. Uh, obviously, the, the team you know is able to to put Gareth through these situations also. So the team has also uh, that uh, determination to uh, to create more opportunities for him. And um, you know this is uh, this is uh, obviously a player that, uh, uh, as long as we as managers are able to to exploit his full potential and he's happy with his football, I think the team gets the rewards from it. Is there a danger that you're getting too reliant on Gareth? No, not at all. Not at all. This question. This question. Made the difference a lot. Yeah, but uh, you know, whenever there's uh, the other opposite way around, uh, you know, the team has won without and. and <coughs> And you don't come back to this question, so I think it's extremely unfair. But if you want, if you want to build a team that challenges for Premier League titles, Gareth Bale's vital to that. He has to stay here. If you, if you were to lose, yeah, obviously. But um, you know, we've uh, we've spoken that at length in in the last uh, press conference, so I'm not going to go through it uh, again. Uh, right. You know, most players or most teams have to hang on to to the best players. So if you know Barcelona losing Messi would be a disaster. Uh, and uh, and Real Madrid losing Ronaldo would be a disaster. So uh, it's exactly the same. I think uh, you know teams are, are dependent, obviously, on on, on great organisation, but on, on on great individuals when they are able to express their fo the football to, to the maximum. And uh, you know, I think uh, the rewards are there for for the team to um, to to collect, and hopefully the reward is is us making it uh, you know where we want to be in. Um, uh, in the future, uh, you know, and, and adding uh, titles to this football club. For him to be here, I mean, obviously, Champions League is very important to him and, and the club, and he's got he's <coughs> certainly put you in a good position. For him. Yeah, today, uh, I mean, I, I think we, you know, obviously, we are unsure if it's going to to put pressure on other teams because uh, last weekend we played with most of the games having been played. Uh, we were able to to win. I'm not sure if it's enough to put other people under pressure when when so much experienced uh, teams in in the league. But you know, for example, a fixture like Man United, Everton, either you go closer to the top or you bring a, a, some, a better, uh, you know, distance of points to towards Everton. So we've we've done our job, cleared one more uh, league game, uh, you know, one less to go, uh, sitting third at the moment. Uh, hopefully, you know, by the end of the the weekend, stays as it is. If not, uh, third place, the uh, fourth place. Well, what do you think, Gareth? Now he seems to have found his best form. Uh, I think it's, uh, it's important when the when the player enjoys what he's doing, uh, and I think Gareth is um, is enjoying his football. You know, uh, so certain times you can ask a player to do certain tasks, and you're unable to to uh, to exploit his full potential. I think uh, you know Gareth is, uh, is extremely motivated. Towards achieving uh, the team's objectives, he's enjoying his football either through the middle, through the left. Uh, you know, he's, he's assisting, he's creating for the team, he's scoring, and uh, and I think he's getting the buzz out of out of maybe his best uh, uh, goal-scoring uh, season. Uh, well, probably that is always an inspiration. So I think uh, obviously down to to the player to enjoy his football and the team to create so much for him too. This is your fifth bank, you know, this time on the left foot down the middle. Yeah, I mean, what we, we finished the, we started the game today as we finished the other day against West Brom. Uh, obviously, you know, we, we play with so much freedom that uh, we, you know players are able to to decide where they are, where they want, and where they 
where they prefer to be. And this is why you see Walker a lot, lots of times on the inside uh, and going through the middle because we like to uh, exploit this uh, this freedom. So I think, uh, you know, um, we started as we finished the other, the other day. Uh, obviously, when he's in the more central role, he, um, he uh, is closer, a little bit closer to goal. And I think we, we benefit from that in the second goal. Just on a personal note, Andre, the type of mobile, fluent football that Tottenham are playing at the moment, you must be enjoying that personally. Yeah, second half was very good. I think we, we found um, we were a little bit... Uh, uh, in tranquil when they went to the one one we obviously had chances to go to nil up uh, that probably would have put us in a great position of confidence uh obviously we missed the the, the two nil and and the one one put us a little bit uncomfortable uh, but I think in the second half we we really enjoyed the, what we were doing played with much more confidence and were able to to express ourselves better do you find it sort of kind of ironic that this is the type of football that you were asked to yeah, but the circumstances are completely different. Um, I think. Uh, you take the point about the football that's being applied. Yeah, I mean, you know, hopefully we can express it all the way through the season. You, you know, uh, second half was was great. The first half we we weren't playing as well as as we finished the the, the second half. So uh, you know, we obviously have a room for improvement. But, uh, you know, as long as the players like what they are doing is, uh, is important for us. It uh, helps us achieve, uh, I think, our objectives a little bit easier. Andrew, you mentioned the last one, if, if Barcelona lost Messi, it would be a disaster. If Real Madrid lost Ronaldo, it would be a disaster. Are Spurs a big enough club to be able to keep any player they want to keep? Yeah, but for a loose, listen, there's, uh, there isn't any release clause in English football. So uh, it's very difficult to negotiate with Tottenham, as you know, and we are not willing to, uh, <laughs> not willing to let our best assets go. And uh, you know, we can't turn this into a debate every time a player um, does well. He's been doing extremely well for us, uh, and we are just, uh, you know, as, as everybody is extremely happy as spectators to be able to to enjoy these players here. Did you make up your bars after long? Well, difficult, <laughs> difficult. Um, obviously, uh, I recognise Kabay as a nasty player, but uh, you know, uh, it was a yellow card. Could have been a red, but it's not. Uh, I think it's not an issue. Okay, thank you. Thank you.